CitizenCon 2948. I was worried. I said this on my forums. I said it all over the place. I was very, very concerned. I shouldn't be knocking a mic around. That this would not be a good one. It was happening on a Wednesday. It's a terrible day to hold a convention of any kind. It's happening in Austin. People from the East Coast and the West Coast have to travel to the Middle Coast to go to it. They weren't selling tickets. They sold 1,000 tickets. They had 2,000 tickets to sell. I thought this was not going to happen. But I was wrong. It turned out to be the most amazing CitizenCon yet. CitizenCon 2018 will go down as the one, the pivotal moment when most of this concern that I've had has turned around. If only I had taken something to commemorate this great CitizenCon with. If only there was some sort of item. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I am Montoya. Things look a little different, don't they? I painted a wall. <laughs> well, partially due to the amount of people that actually came up to me and said, Montoya, let me shake your hand. I love your stuff. I was like, really? Uh, it was interesting. I mean, I am by no means a large, uh, what's the word the kids are using these days, influencer. I have 10,000 subscribers on YouTube, I have you know, and almost 1,000 followers on Twitter. <laughs> but I was always surprised that uh, numerous, numerous people came up to me and want to shake my hand and meet me, saying they've seen my material and how much they love it. So I thought, you know what? If you guys are actually watching what I'm doing, I'm going to kick it up a notch, just make this look a little more professional. Thank you all for your words of encouragement. encouragement. I do appreciate it. And we're going to step it up a notch. And this is the first step in doing that. So let's talk a bit about CitizenCon. All right. My concerns with CitizenCon was that it was going to be a repeat of 2016. Don't get me wrong. It's great going to conventions and meeting people face to face. But 2016 was a disaster in my opinion because nothing we we were looking for squadron 42 we were looking for a lot of things none of that happened what we got was a sandworm and an introduction to war bonds which freaked everyone out so i was cautiously optimistic heading into this season con 2948 when they say 2018 I didn't want to expect too much. Uh, at the end of the day, all I really want to do is meet people from the organization, other people from the Star Citizen, shake hands, and uh, let's call it that. But if they give us anything extra, I'll be happy. So, first of all, they were doing booths this year. So, in case you haven't seen, Test Squadron was one of the organizations which got a booth. Uh, the other ones were Corporation, ADI, Demo, and oh, I forgot the other one, which was the role-playing guy. My my apologies, role-playing guy. I think he was there with his wife or girlfriend. They were dressed up in white, looking very fancy. But anyway, the booth setup was one thing I was very concerned about because I've been to conventions and booths are fancy, and there was no way that I could have possibly gotten a proper booth setup in the time they gave us. So we got a nice backdrop and some two banners. We did what we could, but ADI, holy crap. ADI. Congratulations on your most amazing booth. Who, correct me if I'm wrong, Shap? Was it Shap that set everything up? So this guy Shap, if that's his name, if I remember correctly, uh, does conventions for a living professionally. And he actually drove the stuff from Florida to the convention center. And they set up a, a completely professional booth, which is very, very impressive. Um, Dame O'Reilly guys and uh, the other ones very good turning out too wasn't bad at all Test Squadron obviously we just dominated I mean we just had so much look at this beer koozies mouse pads uh, where's my loot bag ah it's on the other side of the room I'll get that later but uh, the booths were a nice idea the problem was if you're working the booth, you're not enjoying the actual convention. You're working the booth. So most of my time was actually spent at the booth itself. I never went to the keynotes. Well, I went to the first one, the last one. But I missed all the ones in the middle. And uh, it was more work than actually enjoyment, which is fine because uh, it was really great meeting so many people, shaking hands, oh, shaking hands. <laughs> Uh, there was a massive, massive, massive lineup. Let me grab my little bag here. This is the uh, the loot bag that uh, that I got. Uh, I guess there were white ones and there were the normal ones. Uh, let's actually start off with this because this is a good place to start. So yeah, first thing we get is the was this nice Squadron Forty Two, and in it was our first glance at the Kraken. Which was, I mean, you've seen the video. It was simply mind blowing. Test Squadron! And the fact that they made such a, a massive capital ship, mm, still smells new, was surprising to everyone. Uh, Idris owners obviously being concerned now because this thing looks like it kicks ass. 
We don't have pricing yet, but I suspect around the $14 to $1,500 range if they do this. So let's start with this bag first of all. So this is a loot bag that I got. And uh, I get a certain percentage of some face tie, uh, face wear hardware, I believe. And a uh, 15% off Corsair any item. What else do we have going in here? Oh yeah, this is why I want to show you. Okay, everyone had to get these tickets. And there was a huge lineup for these tickets. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, we have a Star Citizen decal, uh, a little pin of the cracking itself. I don't know if you can see that, which is very cool. And then we have, oh, this is the coolest part, a commemorative coin. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone got this, but this was very cool. Uh, Citizen Con, nice and shiny, it has some nice weight to it. So this is going to go on my desk next to my Star Citizen card. So that's what that was. So everyone's lining up in the morning and... That line must have been about two hours long to go get your actual card itself, your ID. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take a roll of tickets. We were doing the X56 giveaway, and I'm going to go and give out a ticket to every single person I can. Boy, was that a bad idea because there were a lot of people. So off I went with a roll of tickets, and you know what? It was, it was really good because I got to meet so many people in line to shake hands with everyone. I said, hi, I'm Montoya. We're doing the X56 giveaway. Thank you, Logitech G. Uh, the winner of the actual X56, ah, oh, what's your name? I should have written it down. He was so happy to get it. Uh, he had the existing hotel, but he was looking to upgrade, so he was the perfect guy to win it. We had so many giveaways. There was the X56. There was the MSI gaming laptop. It has got, it's got a 1060 in it, 16 gigs of RAM, a 256 SSD. That thing rocked. It plays Star Citizen like a champion on it. Uh, we gave away a Mercury Star Runner. We gave away um, two models courtesy of rice maiden and this one is mine rice maiden thank you very very much out of all the things i got i think this is probably my favorite it's just mm, like the smell of lasered wood the detail on this thing is amazing look at that oh and it says montoya it's personalized over here it has my name on it uh so yeah i was walking through the line giving away tickets and just shaking hands and meeting everyone and uh, I guess this is an ADI related story. I come to one guy and I give him a ticket. He goes, you don't want to give that to me. And I go, why? He goes, do you know who I am? <laughs> and I said, I don't know. Who are you? He goes, I'm JC. JC is the guy who leads ADI. Now, I met about 500 people before him. So, I mean, everyone I meet, to go, what's your handle? What's your name? Nice to meet you. Uh, so I'm trying to process at this point. Who the hell is JC? And suddenly I clicked. Like, oh, JC. And I gave him a big hug. And I think he was kind of surprised that I was being friendly <laughs> because we're supposed to be enemies. But hey, it's a convention. But anyway, I think he actually took the ticket. He didn't win. But uh, it was very nice meeting the leaders of other organizations. Oh, uh, Wayland from Corporation. There should be a picture of us here. What a sweetheart. Nicest guy ever. Really nice to meet people from another organization. Uh, so what else? Can, oh, other swag. Well, get me on here. Uh, Angry Peas. Thank you very much for the shirt. Although it is a four times XL, which I can understand because a lot of fat bastards at CisenCon. No, I'm being rude. They're not fat bastards. Just very big boned individuals. <laughs> Citizen card, as you would expect any convention. Uh, I got a, a nice cornea from uh, Metachi, a comm commemorative uh, Space Bros little coin there. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Seth, Sethius, uh, dog tags, and a lot more. Oh, by the way, Sethius is the guy who hooked up like everything in the booth for all the swag, so thank you for that. There's a lot of people to thank for a lot of things. Uh, I won't be able to get through it all, but let me just stop there and we'll dig into more things about Citizen Con in the next video. I actually want to go get some paint and finish up this wall. But tell me what you think about the new studio setup. Any good? Let me know your thoughts. Thumbs up if you enjoy this content. As always, comments below. Subscribe if you want to hear more. And I will see you in the next one.